what I have. I have Ja Jang Mian. I don't know. I probably jacked up words up. But black bean noodle pasta. So look, this is what it looks like. I've been wanting to try this like forever. It looks so good. It looks so delicious. So I figure let me just try it. But look, definitely look delicious. And then I had this sauce. I don't know. I don't know what the sauce is, but it's like okay. Let me just pour it on there. Some sort sort of paste. That they, they, so, one of the beautiful things about Philly is that it's full of history, but not only history, it's just like, it's just very diverse. We have a Chinatown, we have um, a lot of Korean markets, it may not necessarily be by me, but there are a lot of markets that, um, um, just very versatile, you can just try anything. So that's what I like um I also have this it's like stuck with pork so let me just try this and they gave me some soy sauce to go with it so I, I don't know what this one even tastes like I'm I kind of want to taste this let's see oh it's kind of hot oh so let me tell y'all when I got my stuff oh and they had pickle radish radish I had these before. I like them. But let me tell you, when I got home, they messed up my food. They gave me the wrong dish, wrong order. So look, this is what it looks like on the inside. It's supposed to be some sort of pork. So this is the celebration of the eve of my birth. So, yeah, tomorrow is my birthday, y'all. Yay! All right, let me try. I don't even know how to eat this. Mmm. Ooh, hot. Oh. oh, this is not sweet sauce. I don't know what this is. It's not bad. But it's not sweet sauce. Mmm. Not bad. This in itself is like a meal. Look at it. It's like a daggone hamburger inside of a, a bun or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If anybody knows what this is, let me know. It's only $2. And this was $6. I came like that but oh, I did. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm trying. Mm -hmm. Pick it up, eat it. I guess and dip it or something. This is um. Look, look. Oh, it's a whole bunch of stuff on the table. The husband got um. He got um. Oh, KFC, y'all. He got KFC. <laughs> He's not as adventurous as I am. So. <clears throat> I am all. Today is Thursday. I know what we'll come on today. If you haven't got this skin. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
It's the last episode. Want to try it? Mm -hmm. Good, y'all. That's good. And I don't know what this is. It's a cube or something. Let me try it. Um, I think that's a potato. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay. You want to taste the bread? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you know? Mm -hmm. He said he made his throat ache. He don't know. He be making up stuff. <laughs> I'm laughing because what you mean make your throat itch? Well, it's my throat itch. How do you know? It's like a allergic reaction. How do you know? I know what that means. Well, can I just say this? I mean. This is a person who doesn't like trying new stuff. It may my, not my even make sense. My wife got y'all that I actually did have a life before we met each other. So I did eat before I met her. I'm trying to tell y'all. Mm. I'm trying to tell y'all. He um he be just making up stuff. <laughs> he be making up stuff. You ain't when you try radish. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I can tell you that I'm allergic to it. Just be saying This is what my plate looks like. They hit. And it looks like, I think it's chunks of uh, a pork in it, huh? Mm. Mm. That's good. Oh, definitely. I was so tempted to get some octopus, y'all. Oh, no. No. I was so close to getting it. Mm -mm. If y'all look at a previous clip of mine with me and my daughter eating a little baby octopus, that had nothing to, that had nothing on what I was going to buy. It was like a big behind tentacle. Mm. I really want to try it. I just wasn't in that mood to try it right this moment. But I really did want to try it. I do still want to try it. And then, you know what I also fear? These places... I just don't trust how they prepare stuff. Right. 
I kind of almost want to buy it live and cook it myself. <laughs> like, how do I know that they cooked it correctly or cooked it at the right? I, well, I'm gonna say that. I mean, I know they know what they're doing, but I, I don't know. Well, you want to believe that anyway. I would like to believe that. Mm. Look, y'all. I still have these. The opening. That's pretty good. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. That bag is so airtight. <laughs> but um, what's that gonna say? Only mm. issue I had with eating pasta. It's good, but oh my god, it makes me so full. Like, mm -hmm. how I feel now? Full. I'm full. You know me better than anybody. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, eating this, I'm like really going out on the limb because I don't. I only eat a couple spoonfuls. That's why I don't really make that much pasta, spaghetti. I'm gonna say pasta, but spaghetti just in general. Just because it just always makes me feel full. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Rice does the same thing too. They're the two things that I really don't have in my diet at all. So these shrimp crackers look like this. I tried these years ago. These are so good. How's your chicken? Good. Coming to what? Uh, they be giving these little ass pieces of. <laughs> yeah, KFC, man. They definitely have stepped down. It's sad because people that are from up here, I don't know about down south and whatever, but up north, we had Geno's. And. The stories I used to hear growing up and stuff like that, they kind of praise play. Geno's turned into KFC. Yeah. Geno's used to have a bucket of chicken and also burgers. Burgers for the size of uh, like uh, White Castle burgers. They would put it all in one of those, uh, in a bucket. This was back in the early eight, late 70s, early 80s when I was a little kid. So that was a meal. That was a family meal when you had that. And yeah. although I was drunk, I, I still remember my dad talking about Geno's. None of these fast food places and nothing like yeah, they not, Yeah, they like they they trying to they trying to give you a better bargain, but because they not probably making a business, they make it, but they giving you less food if you look at it. Maybe so. You want to, we want you to try this. We want to give you a good deal, but we are gonna give you a little bit of it and see if you keep coming back. You know, we're not giving you the, the, the like solid chicken breast. Yeah, the chicken breast is like. Oh man, chicken breast like pay, a thigh. Yeah. It's the size of a thigh. Like how do you do that? And we pay extra money for it, so. This is for club. Pay like an extra three dollars for a brush, but that's why you always like a thug. Well, I don't mean to boast, but that's why he be wanting me to cook my own chicken at the house. <laughs> yeah, he always be wanting me to cook it at home. You go to these restaurants now, y'all. They be robbing you without a gun. Robbing no you without for. a gun. You want to this bun thing is pretty good. It's, it's like a damn hamburger. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's too much. See, like I said, starches and stuff. Yeah. Mm -mm. Well, the texture of that bread, like, oh my God, that's like. It's like a. 
know. It's like a, it's a, like a piece of cotton, y'all. It's like a some fluffy. That's what it's like. Some fluffy. But it ain't bad. It, it tastes excellent. And it, it ain't good. dry at all. No, it, yeah. it tastes fluffy. I don't know what man. It's better than a piece of Strowman bread. <laughs> I'm a bride strolling break. I'm sorry. Uh, shop right. We <laughs> we bought a generic shop right. We bought a generic shop right. Well, you know, you know, back exactly. in the day, y'all used to be strollers and wonder bread, and you know. <clears throat> so I hope y'all had some some dinner with me. My pre dinner mm-hmm. for my birthday. Don't forget, y'all, tomorrow. My movie comes out. Also, it's my baby birthday at first, but not last. My baby birthday tomorrow. But Alien Covenant, I love Alien movies. I love horror movies, y'all. So, that sounds like for his birth, for my birthday, I'm going to be doing something that he's going to do. Come on, y'all. It's is two that, for one. Like- it's two for one, y'all. Me and my baby both going to get the fun out of this. We get to get scared together. And he know I don't like scary movies. He know, I ain't Yo, I love scary. I like to, I like to take my mind to places like stuff like that. I love scary movies. I don't like waking up with nightmares. And of course, y'all, at, at my age, I'm 41 years old. There's nothing scary. You know, I'm not worried about waking up in an alien or a predator over top of the bed. I mean, but I love the story of. I, I love stuff you, like you that. You don't know where your mind go. I love horror movies. I don't like y'all. taking my my spirit with it. I don't like taking. It's fun my- though. It's fun. It's fun. It's entertainment. It's fun, y'all. But he's gotten me to a point where I'm a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Where yep. I will I will watch it and I'll yep. entertain it just to make him And happy. you know what, y'all? She even watches Walking Dead with me. But first, I was always watching by myself. And now, it's, now it's, it's like a failure. No, you love yeah, the Walking Dead. It is. I ain't going to lie. That joint is addictive. Hey, and and I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, man. Now I'm sitting up here thinking about it. Staying it out of your mouth is like, damn, we got to wait until October. October. All we no. got to look forward to now, y'all, is power. Wait for power. We love power. Yeah, power is another yeah, one. Yeah, we love But that. we like, what's the other one that The Walking Dead? Oh, Fear the Walking Dead. The that fear. comes on in June. Yeah, but you know what? I feel kind of lost because I kind of didn't follow yeah. it like I needed yeah, we to. we missed episodes on that. We did. But you know what? If we... Oh, we got to have a boo night. Yeah, we got to have a boo night. And we, we could catch up on it mm-hmm. and prepare for when that come on. Y'all, we probably good to watch one or two albums before you know it, we'll both be snoring and sleep. We can't. We, we cannot hang. Our age is... <laughs> not even our age. It's not at our age. We just hard working. And, and I don't mean to make that downplay anybody mm-hmm. else and their work ethics. But... You know, we sit back and share stories. We both been working since we were 16. Mm-hmm. And when I say working, like working. Like, I mean, of course, at 16, I couldn't really work full time like that. But from 18 on, for, I don't know what it means to not work. That's what makes me so proud of my son. Because my son, he works for this company called, I don't know, why why all over the states. I know they built one in Florida. It's, it's, they, they building up. But why? Why he work at why? Why he love it? He got good work ethics, and he I, I I feel like he get it honestly because we come he that's what he see all around him, not just from me mm-hmm. and my husband, but he see it from his grandparents. He see it from our friends. Like we got people that's just surrounding us that have real good morals and ethics and um, work ethics and it's just it's positive so mm-hmm. but yeah when we end up watching TV it's very seldom um, we don't we're not consistent with watching anything in particular I mean I've been trying to catch up on the housewives um, I did see the housewives reunion so the first one I don't know if the second one is out I don't, I don't know I don't keep up with none of this stuff so I just go on my little phone, go to my Cody, and play it up. So, but yeah, as I said, thank y'all for tuning in. Hopefully, um, y'all will see another video with me and husband together where he's sitting next to me. I'm right here, y'all. Thank you, want to see your face. I'm right here, y'all. I look a mess, but y'all look. I'm right here. I'm right here, y'all. All right, so 
um thanks again for all the love we'll catch y'all in the next video hopefully the next video will be a crab video because that's what i want yeah I want I some Dungeonese crabs, y'all. But I will tell you, we've been grubbing on seafood all week long. Now, this week was a bad week. When I tell you our mercury level is probably higher than the mud, like, we've been going in on the seafood. Mm -hmm. Look, I made a bushel of crabs. We had, man, we just got, I had shrimp left over there. Remember, I don't know if y'all follow my story, mm -hmm. but I was supposed to take shrimp to the Easter dinner. And forgot it. So I got two big ass, big ass bags of shrimp in my freezer. Mm. What am I going to do with that? You know, I, they not going to waste. So, it's, you know, mm -hmm. we've been eating seafood galore. So, they, they going to be sick and tired of eating seafood over here. Mm -hmm. So, again, thanks for tuning in. Check y'all out next time. Peace. Love y'all.